Welcome to our video on how to upload a completed PDF report to your inspection support network and send it out to clients and possibly agents. After you've completed your report in the field, log into your inspection support network and then click on Inspections and View Inspections, what we call the inspection grid. You'll see the filters at the upper right that have all today, tomorrow, etc. You could certainly click on the search this information so you could find the property you're looking for or you could use one of our filters such as tomorrow. I'm going to click on tomorrow and you'll see we have our one example inspection for this video. Everything from left to right has to do with this one job. This is a very powerful place in your inspection support network but what we're going to talk about on this video is just uploading your report or reports and sending them out. Way over on the right you'll see the blue circle. If we hold our cursor over that icon it will say complete inspection. Let's click on complete inspection and you'll see we have the tab complete inspection with report. If you'd like you can complete inspection without report but we would recommend that you complete your inspection with the report. Since you've already done your inspection in the field and saved it on your local computer as a PDF We'll click on Choose File and you will go find your completed PDF of your report on your computer. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on my report, my sample report, and then I'm going to click on Open. After I've done that, I'm going to click on Add Report and Complete Inspection, which will now upload our completed PDF from your local computer to the Inspection Support Network system. Now that we've uploaded our main report, you'll see we have two new icons. You have the white piece of paper icon with the green arrow, which is simply how you could view or download your inspection report. Uploading the report is very important, and after you do that, you'll be able to access not only your report on your inspection support network, but from your phone application through ISN as well. If this is the only report that you want to send out, then you can click on the email inspection report icon, the manila envelope icon, and you'll see you have the thumbnail over on the right hand side for your report preview. You can decide who you want to send the report to. In this example, I'm going to send it to the client, and I'm going to send it to the buyer's agent, and of course if you wanted to add any other emails, you certainly could do so. You can send out your report as an attachment or as a link or fax it right from this area. We would strongly recommend that you only email your reports out as a link. The reason we suggest you send them out as a link is because then you can track when and if they were opened. I'm going to click on email report as a link. Now let's go back to our inspection grid or inspections and view inspections. If you have multiple reports, say you have a radon report or a termite report, some other kind of ancillary report that you would like to also upload to ISN, you'll click on the icon of the piece of paper with the paper clip or our attachments icon. I'm going to click on the attachments icon and in my title I'm going to put radon as an example. And then you'll notice our blue box. Our blue box says, make this attachment public and allow my clients and agents to download if I send my report as a link. What that simply means is, if it's a report of any kind that you're going to send out to clients or agents, you want to click that box. The reason we have that box is you may want to be uploading scanned checks or extra photos from your inspection that you didn't include in your report but you'd like to have saved for liability reasons and in that case you would not click that box. But to be clear, if you're uploading a report that you're going to send out to clients and agents at any time, you want to make sure and click the blue box, make this attachment public. Now let's click on choose file and let's go find our radon report. I'm going to click on my radon example and I'm going to click open and I'm going to add attachment. Now if we wanted to send out just this radon example or any other report that we want to send out by itself, we could click over on the left on the white envelope, email attachment. 
you'll see again, I'm going to choose to send it to the client and to the buyer's agent. And as I mentioned earlier, we want to always send them out as a link, email attachment as a link. And now we have sent just the radon report or the secondary report. That way, if you've sent out the main report a couple of days ago, and now you get your radon or mold test examples back from the lab a couple of days later, you can send them just the pertinent information that you haven't sent them yet. Now let's go back to inspections and view inspections. You'll see if I hold my cursor over the attachments icon, it shows that I have one document. So in this example, if we wanted to send the main report, our inspection report, and possibly a termite report all in the same email, we would click on the blue circle on the right that we already uploaded this report. We would not send the report yet. Then we would click on the attachments icon and we would upload the report, say a radon report, termite report, whatever it might be, and we would make sure we click on the blue box to make it public. Then when we click on the email inspection report, the manila envelope icon, now if we click on email report as a link, it's going to send both of our reports or three reports or whatever you have uploaded to the system and made public. And that's how easy it is to upload your reports and to send them out either individually or as a group. Now let's go back to inspections and view inspections or what we call the inspection grid and you'll notice that the green button shows that the report has been released. You'll also notice the signed, paid, and office buttons. Watch for our other video on the inspection grid and we will go through all of the various icons on this page. But for this video, that's how easy it is to upload reports and send them out. And we hope you're enjoying your inspection support network. Have a great day.